Well, hello everyone. It's Erin McGrew here. Because who else would you expect on Erin Lee McGrew's channel? Okay. So, there's this little, <laughs> this habit I have. I don't know when or why or how it came about, but I started, like a while ago, I started collecting receipts and whatnot. Because every time I collect or get a receipt, I keep them in my pocket and they're in there forever. But I found out that they come in handy for when you need to take notes. Like if you ever have a thought, so like I've been trying to write a book for like several years now, but I barely got anywhere. I'm like, I'm doing better now. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've had this shirt and this is my work shirt forever. So it's, it's ratchet. <laughs> I don't even know what that word means. It's ratty. There we go. So yeah. Um, I always want to have a sheet of paper on me, and I always have a pen or two on me. I mean, now I'm starting to have two pens on me in case someone asks to borrow one, and both of us forget to, like, or they forget to return it, and I forget to ask to return it, or I get too shy and phlegmatic to ask for it back. <laughs> so, anyways, enemies, I always have pen and paper on me to take notes of whatever comes into my mind, because, like, for so long, for so many years, I would t something would like amazing would pop in my head, and I would tell myself, "Oh, that's cool. That is amazing. Wow, I have to write about that later." But like, I should write that down now, and be like, "No, I'll remember. No, I never remember." So I make it a priority to write down every awesome thing that comes into my mind at the moment it comes into my mind as soon as possible, lest I forget. <sighs> I do that with dreams. So that's my advice to you, is if you want to write a book or preach a sermon or something, as soon as the idea comes into your head, write it down. Start collecting receipts. Every time you go out to eat, or this is actually a pay stub from my work. Now that you have all my information, because I'm trying to wave it around so you can't see my address or whatnot. Yeah, so today, I got to thinking... Oh yeah, I was thinking about pride because, I don't know, I think about stuff all the time because, you know, I'm alone a lot, so uh, I like to think a lot, and I was thinking about pride today, how, um, like, how God hates pride, like, man, why is that, and then it dawned on me that Pride is, it's a wall, like, that's really what it is. It's just a wall that people hold up, usually against, like, each other, and it keeps others out. The, my, one of my goals in life, actually, like, the basis of my life, how I live my life, are, like, um, like described by two, like, the two greatest commandments that Jesus gave. Like, one, love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, mind, soul, and strength, and two, which is like unto it, love the neighbor as thyself. And these are like goals that I strive for personally. Um, and I don't know, like to love your neighbor, you really have to be humble about it. Like you have to be really honest with yourself. And I want to be that type of person. I hope I am. Because if I'm not, I want to make the efforts to change. But I want to be that person, the type of person who makes others feel, like, entirely comfortable around me. Like, they can feel like they can tell me anything without having to worry about me, like, blabbing my mouth to, like, someone else. Or without having to worry about me condemning them or, you know, wrongfully judging them or whatever. Pride, it's basically like you have a guard up, especially those who are who have really been hurt in their past. I'm going to be that type of person whom people can come to and just let their guard down. I want to make people feel comfortable enough to let their guard down. And then once they have the guard down, then we can minister. Then I want to minister and to help them and coach them through. It's, I don't know. It kind of seems like I've been successful because I've had some people, like quite a few people actually, like over the years, who typically have 
like a reputable like prideful spirit or like they're really haughty or they tend to be they pretty much have like kind of like a iffy reputation like a bad reputation how they seem kind of snotty but like I look past that because I've actually been that way in my past like I've been snotty I've been arrogant because I've also been hurt in my past and I'm over it <laughs> so like I've been the type I used to be really bitter but I've gotta let the bitterness go and I've been able to let bitterness go and I am progressing like I am becoming more of a leader and it's definitely trying because, oh, this is so funny. A few years ago, I remember posting a status on Facebook saying how, like, I would never be a leader. Like, that's not my desire at all. No. It's like, uh-uh, that's not for me. Like, I, it's too, it stressed me out too much. And here I am a few years later, becoming a leader. It's like, Lord, honestly, I just can't fight against the will. So, like, well... So I guess a few years ago, I tried to run away to Nineveh, I guess. But no, I fell. I got swallowed by the big fish. Or a whale, as people say. <laughs> Which was bitterness. Because, you know, people who are destined to be leaders, but they succumb to fears, they usually end up becoming very bitter because they look at all the people around them and they see all their flaws, and they get frustrated with their flaws, and they become very bitter and angry because they won't overcome their fears enough to tell them to change, or to lovingly tell them to change. That's the key. It's like, you gotta do it lovingly. It's, here's the thing. People just don't know, like, most of the time. I'm like, I used to think, I used to go around thinking that everyone knows Everyone was idiotic. Everyone was foolish and stupid, but no, like I had to come to the realization that's like, Aaron, calm yourself. Some people just don't know. They just weren't, like they just didn't have the opportunity to like learn some things. It's like just because you had the opportunities to like learn like a million things and excel at them, doesn't mean that everyone else had the privilege of those opportunities. It's like, it is your job, you have to be a leader, and to teach them, and to show them, you gotta be that person to them whom the people were to you who taught you. So it's like, you gotta pay it forward, give the gift to others. That's what loving people is about, giving your gifts to others and sharing them. Yeah. Um, bum, 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 bum. Pride. Pride is the door that locks up the new creature in Christ. And humility is the key. This is why the Lord detests pride, because he cannot work with that sort of attitude. Huzzah! I will see you guys in my next video. Hopefully I'll dish out more, like, you know, stuff full of substance. So, peace and lip balm. Ha!